today I would like us to look at how you can use the UV visible spectrometer to determine the concentration of an unknown solution. So basically, this is based on the Pierre-Lambert's law, which says that the absorbance of a particular substance is directly proportional to the concentration so far as the path length is constant. So when you know your absorbance, meaning you can easily get your concentration because they are directly related. So this is a UV visible spectrometer and basically the core of this, of this particular instrument lies on the sample compartment. As you can see, we have about one, two, three, four, five, six. These six sample holders are for the standards or where you put your samples. And the only one which is being isolated is where you put your reference when you want to do your analysis. So basically you have to be very careful in order not to put the standards or the samples into the sample holder of the reference. So first of all, what you have to do, I will classify that into three categories. You will determine your wavelength of maximum absorption unless you know that wavelength of maximum absorption from theory or literature, you don't have to do that. But in this particular case, we don't know that wavelength of maximum absorption. So what we have to do is to take one of our samples, a series of dilutions that are prepared, we we'll take the one with the most concentrated to determine that particular wavelength of maximum absorption. So basically, when you want to do that, you take your blank. The blank is basically the solvent which is used in the preparation of your standard. And in this case, I've used the ionized water. So I'll take my deionized water. Always make sure that your cuvette is always wiped clean in order to avoid impurities. Always clean the parts that will be facing the light. So you pull that into your sample compartment. And then your sample, which is the standard. And as I said, I'm taking the one with the highest concentration, so which is basically this particular one. Take another tissue to wipe it clean to avoid impurities and insert that inside your sample holder. Close the lid. After you've done that, you can now go to your machine where your software is. And in this case, our software is a UV proof. Click on the UV proof and then allow this to come. Then after that, you have to connect everything to make sure that everything is in line. After you've done that, you go to your method and this allows you to put in the wavelength range that you want to scan your sample on. And in this case, we'll be scanning from 800 nanometers to 250 nanometers. So you go to your wavelength range, put in your 800 to 250 nanometers. You go to the scan speed. We have fast, medium, slow, and very slow. But in this case, let's use that of the medium. 
and then you want the scan mode to be single, and then you can click your OK. After you click that, you can go to your instrument parameters. That gives you your absorbance in the measuring mode. We have the transmittance, we have the energy, and then the reflectance. As I said, because we'll be dealing with absorbance, I would like us to click on the absorbance and use that absorbance for the slit width. We pull that on 2.0, and then the edge change will be on normal. We click that, and basically, you've done all the methods, and you are ready to start. And before that, you go to your wavelength, set this on 800 as well. You click OK. You have to go to zero. You auto zero the machine. Make sure everything is on zero absorbance. Then you can now start your spectrum and make sure you get a nice peak that will allow you to determine the wavelength of maximum absorption and it is this particular wavelength that will help you to determine the rest of the concentration your standard samples that you have will be run on that